What is good, everybody? I'm here with FaZe Banks. You see Ricky's with me right now. What up, what up? If you guys might see by the title, he has a designer streetwear brand dropping on Saturday. There's a pop-up here. All the information will be up on the screen. I don't know if you want to plug it real quick, talk about it. Um, yeah, I mean, if you guys are interested after his video or whatever, if you guys don't know who I am or haven't already heard about this, if you're interested, it's gonna be on Saturday. It's right off of Melrose. It's North Point Sieta, 641 North Point Sieta. You can throw all the information in the description if you want, or you guys can just check it out on the Instagram. All right, so we got all the pieces here, but I wanted to ask anything you want to plug or say about breakdown about the company and the clothing line, anything behind it. All right, so I guess I'll give a brief little thing about it. Um, I know on my, my YouTube channel is like popping right now and stuff, but the actual reason I came out to LA and moved here was for this. It's been something that I've been working on. You know, I put a lot of time, effort, and like energy, money into all this stuff. And this is what the main reason why I moved out here. It's just like a passion project for me. You know, life is full of ups and downs, ups and downs and ups and downs. And I was at a low, one of those lows, and I was really unmotivated and stuff. And this is kind of what dragged me out of bed every day. And like, just the thought of doing something like this. I've always really liked clothes. I've always wanted to take a stab at this. And I've always wanted to kind of do something different. I've never had merch. I've never had like YouTuber basic merch and everyone has that. So I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity for me to kind of like try to do something legit. It's just more for like, it's, it's just more like a fun, it, this is like how I have fun. You know? Your hobby. Yeah, this is what I do for fun. And like, that's just really where it's at. Also, I wanted it to kind of all, all reflect my like style and how I like clothes to be. It's all a little bit more oversized. Um, this is all stuff, everything in the first collection, in the first season, um, and stuff that I would wear myself. And I hope you guys like it. I mean. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to break it down. I have everything right here. He's going to get going after this, but I'm going to break down each individual piece. I was going to do a video talking about it just by pictures, but I thought I have to have the pieces in hand. And since we're here, why not? Because you can get a full like feel of how clothes are going to be. And we'll talk about the price points and everything, break all that down so you guys get my full opinions. And I mean, is there anything you want to say about that or is... I mean, you're, you're literally one of the first people who actually gets to see, feel and stuff. So the pop-ups to when you guys are watching this, the pop-up will be tomorrow. So you're really one of the first people and like, I told them like, give an honest, like break it down and be completely honest about it, pick it apart and anything negative about it, share it. Like this is a learning process. This is the first season ever. I want this to last forever and I want to do, I want to keep doing this. I'm really ex excited about it. I'm really, really, like I said, passionate about it. And so I hope you enjoy it. We'll see if you do. You know, if you don't, you might have to find an Airbnb or something. No, I'm just I kidding. mean, you're into the streetwear stuff, so I feel like you value my opinion with this kind of stuff. Definitely, you definitely. I actually watch his videos and stuff. I think they're cool. Like, I really do. And that's how we got to talk. And he was like, yeah, I'm going to be out there and stuff. And I was like, you still going to be out there? You should come to the pop-up and, like, the party and stuff. And he's like, oh, no. Like, where I had to stay kind of fell through. And I was like, why don't you just stay at my house or whatever. You can, like, break down my, my line or something. Because I always watch his, like, breakdowns and stuff. I thought it would be kind of cool. Yep. So I'll let you get to it, though, homie. Let's go ahead. Hope you guys like it. Sounds good. Let's slide in here. Pop up. <laughs> okay, so I have all the pieces here. There are nine total pieces that are dropping, and I'm gonna kind of talk about the price points and whatnot so you guys can see in person and my honest opinions, because he's not here, so I'm gonna tell you my honest opinions when I get this stuff in hand. So there's a few different items. Okay, but the first one right here, I'm gonna get the actual name of it so I can be proper. This is the oversized split hoodie. So if you can see, it's like a flannel, and it's two different colors. So I'm gonna try to hold this up. So it's two different colors. This is the back right here, and it splits the double zeros on the back, as you can see, for loose change, obviously. We have the different color hoodie right there. And then of course the front is the two different. We have the O's here. And this one comes in at 220. This is a very thick flannel and it honestly feels good. And now some of the things I'm gonna tell you guys about with the shirt, because I felt one of the shirts is the quality of this stuff. This stuff is good quality. And so this is one of the flannels. This is like an essential piece. I've seen Banks wear it a lot and I've seen some other people wear it and I think this is gonna be a key piece to the drop. One of the key pieces I wanna talk about was this signature double zero shirt right here in black. Now, as you can see, it's full embroidery on the front with the double zero. I like this design, I'll say it up front. I like the design of this. And on the back, as you can see, it says loose change, all embroidered, thick embroidery. So something like this is perfect for when you're wearing like a bomber jacket or anything of that sort because it sticks out of the bottom and has a nice look. So you can wear anything from a bomb or you can wear like an Adidas coat and you'll see this popping out the bottom. Also I want to point out the tags. I like the look of the tags as you can see right there. It is a nice material, but one of the things that I saw from the pictures or I didn't see in the pictures is inside of the double zeros on the front is like a suede material. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but it is a suede material and it's like, it's a little detail that nobody's really going to notice, but it's just kind of that extra effort. And so this one, I think this one came in at 80 bucks. Let me go ahead and check. Yeah, this one comes at 80 bucks, which isn't bad because there are shirts, you know, Stone Island, they go up to hundred bucks, stuff like that. Full embroidery. Embroidery is not cheap. Putting the details like that inside of the zeros is not cheap either. And this is very thick embroidery. Like I said, 
quality t-shirts in my honest opinion. So we have the same shirt here in white, but I wanted to show you guys in the packaging. So there is individual packaging for each item, has the size on it and the logo. As you can see, it's kind of a cutout there. I like the details of that. So with every purchase, you're gonna get something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this right here. It's just the same thing as you guys can see in white with black and it's got the suede in there as well. The experience that you get is one of the things, you know, you don't wanna just get a t-shirt out of the box, like out of a Gildan box. You wanna get a quality t-shirt. Obviously, I'm not saying this is Gildan, I'm saying this is the opposite of Gildan. You're getting a quality t-shirt, you're getting a packaging like this, so you're getting the experience of the whole company and then of course the shirt itself. So another little essential piece of the drop are shorts. And now this is the one like pant or slash short item that is coming out. And shorts are a thing that I don't typically wear, but these look, or they feel super cozy. So you guys can see on the inside, we have the nice material there. We have the nice big loopholes right there for the strings. And then we have the printed double zeros on the side, which I like, it's a nice hit. You guys do know I don't wear shorts too much, but these would definitely be a lounge piece. And the price for these come in at 85 bucks. Here's the rose embroidered t-shirt right here, which is probably one of my overall favorite pieces. So you can see we have the rose embroidery here, which is different. I haven't seen anything like this before done on a t-shirt. So it's fully embroidered. And then on the back, we have the double zeros, as you can see, the suede material again on the inside. It's gonna be hard to show you guys, but this is one of my favorite pieces because I like having that bigger logo on the front and a little bit subtle or on the back and a little bit subtle on the front. And so this kind of wrap arounds the sides. And so I just think it is a nice complimenting look. It's not too much in your face. And this one comes in at a hundred bucks. This is my favorite piece out of everything right here. This is the oversized rose embroidered hoodie. Now the front says loose change and inside out pocket. You can't really tell that from the pictures. On the back, we've got the double zeros of course. And then on the sleeve is where we have the nice rose embroidery, which I saw Banks. If you saw a video I did a while back, I was talking about some of his outfits. And I saw this hoodie, but I didn't know what it was and I couldn't really break it down, but I said I really liked it. The embroidery is crazy. And this is super thick. It's like a double sweatshirt. So the hood is also inside out as well. And we've got the nice big holes right there for the string. This is my favorite piece. The font of everything I really mess with, the logo I really mess with, and then the rose embroidery I really mess with. This is just like the perfect all together piece in my opinion. So then we have the tier one, two, and three t-shirts. Now these each have different designs on them. This one has a caterpillar. And if you can't see it in the details, it's actually a dollar right there, which is gonna be hard to see. I'll try to throw up a little bit of a picture up on the screen. This is the first tier and it comes in at $120. So the way that the tier system works is there's three shirts of similar, they're the same materials and whatnot. They just have a little bit different designs and they're a little bit more limited each way as you go and so the price goes up. The next shirt is gonna be 160 and then the third one is going to be 200, which is my favorite color. But as you can see, this is not like a long sleeve t-shirt, but it's not a crew neck. It's kind of in the middle and you have that pocket on the front. So like one of the things that I like told Ricky when I first saw it in person was that it's not, you know, like a crew neck. And I thought it would be just a long sleeve t-shirt, but then I felt it's thicker, it's not a crew neck. And as you can see, we've got the distressing around the edges, which is just a nice touch. And these are really good quality and really thick. So this is just different. You know, I haven't seen much like this where it's like a hoodie with a pocket there, but it's thinner than a crew neck, but not too thin where it is a long sleeve t-shirt. The tier two shirt has the cocoon right there. So if you guys can't tell what's going on, Caterpillar cocoon, you'll see what's going next. This one has a $20 bill in the logo right there and is a nice tan brown colorway. Really like this colorway. It's a nice earth tone and it has a distressing around the neck again. I really mess with this piece. And then lastly, we have the tier three right here, which has a butterfly with a $100 bill. Gray colorway, my favorite. I love gray. I'm wearing gray denim right now. I just really mess with the overall vibe of this. You know, you have the more limited pieces. The price goes up each time they go. They are the same material, but it is more of like a limited type thing. And I really like the vision that's really happening with all this. So overall thoughts, the whole collection is just me. I was talking with my other YouTube friend, Jacob Starr, and he just says all the stuff that is on there is stuff that you would wear. And the fact that Banks is coming out with things that he genuinely likes and that he would wear, that's the whole point behind it. I, it, I gotta respect it. Now I gotta say some people will question stuff about the price points because they're a higher price point, but you gotta understand you're going for a designer brand instead of merch because merchandise, you can get t-shirts for $10, made at $5 a piece and then sell them for 30 and make that money. With this kind of stuff, you're getting the actual materials, you're putting the design, you're doing embroidery and all that. It costs more money and when you use those nicer materials, you bump that price point up because you're wanting it to be a designer brand. You're not wanting it to be just another t-shirt that you have in your closet. You can compare it to companies like Off-White. They're not even 
even at that super high price point as far as like a hoodie goes, but the hoodie here is 240 bucks. An off-white hoodie is gonna be five, $600. So you're even looking double the price there. And yes, that is a more normal name, but they're, not, they're doing screen printing, so they're not even doing embroidery and stuff like that. And it is because of the name, but you just think that's twice the price point. I bet you I can go on Barney's right now and find you something that is way more expensive. Saint Laurent, way more expensive at the designer brand. So, this is kind of like that, that level of designer where it's like not too much out there. And yes, it is more than the average person can go and spend on certain things. Maybe you won't want to spend $200 on this, but if you do, you know you're getting a more limited piece, you're getting something that you really like, and you're getting something quality. So I do have to say shout out to Banks for having me out here to go ahead and just do the video on this because he wanted to get it out to you guys before the pop-up so you guys can get my honest opinion because I have a pretty big, one of the biggest streetwear followings. And so people following that want to see this opinion and with that being said, I'm gonna be at the Loose Change pop-up on Saturday. It's from 12 to six. Again, all the details will be in the description down below. But you can go ahead and come out and say what's up to me. I'm gonna to try to be walking the line and doing that kind of thing. Maybe get some vlog footage if you wanna be in that. But the event is gonna be crazy. I'm excited for it. The feedback on everything has been amazing and I'm so happy for Banks. Congratulations to him for all the great feedback on this. I know he's put a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of money into this and it is definitely gonna pay back. But that is gonna wrap it up. Look forward to a vlog from different parts of being here at the Cloud House as well as just being at the pop-up. This can be one of the main footage that's coming out in the next few days, so look forward to that. But that is gonna be it. I'll see you guys next time. Harrison, signing out.